Michaela Pereira from KTLA, and I want Me TV Wednesdays at 8:05. Wednesdays at 8:05. Wednesdays at 8:05. And I want Me TV. And I want Me TV. I want Me TV. Ronnie Brown. Ronnie Brown. Ronnie Brown. I want Me TV. I want Me TV. I want Me TV. Rodney, I want me TV. Rodney Brown, we, we want me TV. Rodney Brown, we want me TV. Rodney Brown, we want me TV. TV is all about you. you. I want me TV. I want me TV. I want me TV. Rodney, Rodney, Rodney. I want me TV. Hi, my name is Capri Vimes, and Rodney Brown, I want me TV. Hey, my man, Rodney. I'm Slick Aguilar with the Jefferson Starship. I want me TV. Okay. Rodney, I'm so, Darby well, from Jefferson Starship, and I want me TV. I want me TV. I want me TV. I want me TV. Hi, I'm Chudney Ross, Rodney Brown. I want me TV. Hi, Rodney. I want me TV. Hi, Rodney. I want me TV. Me TV. Me TV. I want me TV. Rodney Brown, we want me TV. Hi, Rodney Brown. This is Roy Hargrove, and I want me TV. I'm Tyler Lee. I want me TV. I want me TV. I want me TV. Rodney Brown, I want me TV. Rodney Brown, I want me TV. Rodney Brown, I'm Michael Brown, and I want me TV. I want me TV. Keith Roberts, Young Dubliners, Irish Rock, Rodney Brown, I want me TV. You got it. Rodney Brown, I'm Jessica Holmes, and I want me TV. Rodney Brown, I'm Troy Wilson. Rodney Brown, they call me T-Boy. Rodney Brown, zero. Uh, and, and we want to give you an extraordinary records of leadership in this country. Rodney Brown, we want me TV. Rodney Brown, we want me TV. Rodney Brown, we want, want me TV. TV. Rodney TV. Yes. Rodney Brown, I'm Jim Reed from Rebellion Rugby. Wednesday nights, 8.05. I want me TV. We want me TV. Thank you, thank you. We have a really exciting show. I'm gonna get right to the musical interlude. Every episode of MeTV has a musical interlude. This is called The Flow. It's an improvised song I just came up with. Thank you for joining me. You can lift the camera up. You're all just blown away by that musical interlude, aren't you? Hey, thank you for being here. I am your host, your producer, your director, Rodney Brown. Oh, thank you. All right. 
Oh, thank you. I knew you guys were alive. You got over that. It, that you were blown away by that. You were going to do that. It had you captivated. All right. Yeah, well, all right. You came back alive. Um, can you put my name up, please, Jan? Uh, I have an exciting trip for you today. This is about the journey. You know MeTV is about the journey. Uh, I, that's one of my themes from last year, the journey. We're working on some new themes this year. I just came up with one, the number three, the magic of the number three. This is my third show of the year. We had Martin Luther King Jr. birthday. We had the inauguration of the first man of color as our president yesterday. And today, all right, I'm happy about that too. And today we have the third, this is the third day in the series of exciting things. I'm in the third year of my MeTV deal. And without further ado, I am getting my exciting guests on this set right this very second. Stanley Livingston, would you please join me? Oh, thank you so much, Stanley. Oh, it's great to have you on. Oh, I am so thrilled to have you on this show today. Stanley, I just can't tell you. Well, I appreciate that. I've been around a long time, so. Oh, wow. It's just, it's just, I just, I'm pretty much speechless, but I'm going to do my best to, to ask you a few questions. Oh, and uh, first of all, I would like to, uh, Inform our audience, in case you don't know, like we're, you'd have to be born under a rock if you didn't know, this man is Stanley Livingston, which he played Chip in the classic television series, My Three Sons. Let's hear it, man. <laughs> this, is, this is some exciting, exciting stuff. Well, some people out there might be wondering, what is My Three Sons, especially the younger generation? This so, is true. This is true. It's a series that went on the air in 1960. Uh, Fred McMurray uh, starred as the dad on the show. Yeah. Bill Frawley, who a lot of people remember as Fred Mertz from I Love Lucy, right. the original grandfather. Myself as the youngest son, Don Grady as Robbie, and uh, Tim Constantine as Mike, the original older brother. Oh, We were on 12 years. 12 we, years? We did almost 500 episodes. Of 500 episodes. episodes, and it was the second longest running sitcom. Yeah. It, and still so, is. It still is. It still is. It still is. Excellent. That's so phenomenal. Yeah, I started actually on Ozzy and Harriet, which is the first longest running sitcom. They ran 14 years, and I started on Ozzy and Harriet in 1955. Wow, 1955 is when you started on Ozzy and Harriet. By the way, you're taking such great care of yourself. This oh, is impressive. Well, you look great. Yeah, you go on. You know, that's inspiring for our audience. Because we like, we like that. We like, we like health and good things. Wellness. We like wellness. I can't say it's health. Just good genes. I think, yeah, point. good genes. Okay, and Couple wellness. Setups. Yeah, yeah, right. That's cool. That's that's great. Um, oh gosh, I have a few questions to ask you, but um, I have a graphic behind us that uh, it's. There goes my guitar. That's okay. That's okay. Um, the uh, actor's journey. Tell us about the actor's journey. Well, the actor's journey is a project. There's a lot of people, obviously, that have wanted to become actors, and I'm going back to the beginning of the industry, meaning the film industry, uh, back at the turn of the century. Mm -hmm. And actors have always had a problem. The problem is, is actors know where to go to get training, mm -hmm. and this goes back. They either learn in stage, or they've gone to some school, or a prestigious university, or a fantastic academy in New York. Mm -hmm. The problems begin for actors as soon as they complete the initial part of their training because they want to work. Right. Well, you graduate and your teacher says, fine, fine, yeah. good luck, Rodney, and uh, <laughs> see you around sometime. I well, it. what happens is most actors at that point are left to fend for themselves and figure out how to get into the industry. Mm -hmm. And this has been an historical problem for us for years and years. We decided to do something about that, meaning myself and about a hundred other people that are involved in the industry, directors, producers, executive producers, showrunners, the director of the Screen Actors, director of the uh, Directors Guild of America, uh, the president of the, uh, let's see, uh, not only the, of the Directors Guild of America, but also the Screen Actors Guild. Mm -hmm. All these people are involved in this project. What we did is we kind of got behind the scenes and said, what is this problem? Actors are having in terms of getting work in the industry and migrating into the industry. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is they, ha they cannot access information on the other side of the industry. In other words, they get their training, they know how to act, they're ready to go. Mm -hmm. And the big problem is, what do I do with it? Who do I call? What do I say? So we created this Actors Journey Project, which really focuses on all the non-performance skills that you need to become an actor. Wow. And it's, it's pretty, it's very comprehensive. We put together a DVD series.